Tower of Hanoi. What a beautiful purple. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. My name is Samir Pila, and I'm a freshman at Harmony Science Academy, Grand Prairie. Today, I will be telling you about my PBL. My PBL is a Tower of Hanoi. It is a very sophisticated and complex puzzle. Each disc, as you see, varies in different size. There are three towers and one base. The thing that makes this tower so complicated is that each, you can only move one disc at a time. But you can never put a large disc on the top of this, like a small disc. So, to follow the rules, you would take a small disc and put it on a larger disc. You can move one at a time. And the main goal of this puzzle is to take all of this. The Tower of Hanoi is a pyramid puzzle known as the Tower of Brahma or the End of the World Puzzle. It was named this because an Indian myth said that the temple would crumble into dust and the world would vanish. If the puzzle was completed, they believed that the last day would come when the priest finished the, the tower within the least amount of moves. The tower was also contained in a myth that involved Emperor of Vietnam who supposedly used a tower to find the wisest man in the country. That emperor was to reward the wisest, wisest man with the riches unimaginable. One day a wise monk came to the king's court and solved the puzzle. As with most myths, this one has a mysterious ending. The emperor mysteriously vanished and, and was never seen again. Though the tower was supposedly invented by Edward Lucas, there was many stories as how it came in hundreds of years before Lucas was born. There is a story of the engines as well as the Vietnamese. This leads, this leads me to the belief that the Tower of Hanoi was originally invented somewhere in Asia before Edward Lucas had done it himself. The Tower of Hanoi is a very difficult puzzle to solve, and it reminds me of the time where I was in middle school when my teacher used to solve puzzles. He would always give us some type of puzzle to do each day. I have tons of puzzles in my house that I work on almost daily. Sometimes I even teach my brother how to use and solve puzzles. I believe that it is why I have a higher order thinking level for questions based of the puzzles that I solve. There are lots of ways that a person can apply the knowledge from the Tower of Hanoi to mathematical questions. One way is that the simple mathematical sequences help you learn quick decision making and critical thinking that makes the people. The aspect that was difficult in the puzzle was its complexity and the time management. If you take too long then it will take forever to finish and the Tower of Hanoi is hard to keep solving after a long time. Also if you do something wrong you could ruin the whole thing and try all over again. The only way to fix that is to retrace your steps and that is valuable skill for everyday life.